Hi, I'm Global Runner. Today I want us to do a follow-up to a video which 15,000 of you uh, viewed previously, so thank you for that. And that video was one where I looked at the shoes that I regretted buying over the last 12 months. So here I'm going to do a rundown of the shoes that I do not regret buying, those that I'm glad I bought over the last 12 months. So without further ado, let's go straight into the shoes. Shoe number four is the following. The Reebok Float Ride Energy. I think the best part about this shoe is the price. This uh, retailed at $130 and I got it significantly cheaper than that. I think I got it for about $65 and a half price sale. And this shoe is the archetypal standard trainer. There's no flashes, there's no gimmicks, there's no carbon fiber plate. It's just a good, solid trainer. It's got decent grip. It'll do everything you need it to do. Relatively firm foam by today's standards, but a really decent everyday training shoe. Now these shoes weigh 261 grams or 9.2 ounces. So they're relatively light. They have a decent upper. They have a decent heel collar. Um, they keep your foot in place. They do everything you want from a running shoe and they were super cheap. So particularly if you're on a budget, I would highly recommend these shoes. Reebok are really underrated. They've got some good running shoes and they're really cheap. So one of the four shoes that I do not regret buying this year is this Reebok shoe. It's served me well. I've done hundreds of miles in this at a cost of like $65. So good job Reebok. And the second shoe that I do not regret buying in the last 12 months is the following shoe. The New Balance Rebel 2. Again, this is just a super fun, nimble little shoe. No carbon fiber plates, no gimmicks, no problems with this. It's got the best foam to squeeze I've ever felt. Like it's quite addictive squeezing this. You just want to dig your nails in. Um, it's got decent grip and surprisingly this grip is actually really good on ice and snow. I think it's because it's flat uh, and covers a ton of surface area. But this is my go-to treadmill shoe. Um, it's quite, it's responsive, it's fun. It's a six mil drop. Uh, the Reebok was a 10 mil drop. This is a six mil drop. Uh, it's got a fun colorway and I've just really enjoyed running in this shoe. So I highly recommend this shoe. This shoe was slightly more expensive. This cost 180 Canadian dollars, um, but still well worth every penny. And that's actually cheap by today's standards. So I highly recommend the New Balance Rebel two and you can probably pick it up at a deal now that the rebel three is out the next shoe i do not regret buying in the last 12 months is the following one the adidas adios six now there's version seven out but this shoe was super fun this is the uh, one with a shank it doesn't have a carbon fiber plate or a nylon plate it's got a shank in the middle and it's just a super fun shoe it's relatively firm by today's standards, certainly in the heel, but it's got the light strike foam in the forefoot. Uh, this was originally retailing at $160, but uh, added that's a good on the deals. I think I actually paid only $80 for this, so it's an absolute bargain. It's got fantastic grip underneath. I'd highly recommend this for any distances, some 5K to probably half marathon. It's just a super fun shoe. And this is another one that I used on the treadmill until I started using the Rebel. This has a nine millimeter offset, uh, so nine millimeter drop. So really fun shoe, really recommend uh, buying this. This is another good do it all trainer, which you just can't go wrong with. And then finally, the shoe that I'm most glad that I bought in the last 12 months is this one. This is the Saucony Speed 3. This has a nylon plate in it and this has an eight millimeter drop. These were the most expensive of all the shoes. These were $210, but this is just the archetypal do it all shoe. You could race a marathon in these, you could do 400 repeats in these. I know because I've done both. Um, I was looking for a shoe to do a 35K long run in, and it was a choice between these and the Pro 2, the Adidas Pro 2. And I went with these just because they disappear on your foot. They are a super fun, super lightweight shoe that will do absolutely anything you ask it to. 
I can't say enough about this shoe. I love the Speed 1. Didn't try the Speed 2, but the Speed 3, I think, is uh, as good as the Speed 1, in my view. And really enjoyed this shoe. Good grip on the underside. Just can't say enough about this shoe. So just to be clear, there are other shoes which may make that list in the future, but I've gone with the shoes that I bought in the last 12 months and which I've taken beyond 50 miles. So I'm sure the Prime X will get in there at some point, uh, as may the Takumi Sen. But at this stage, those are the four shoes that I have uh, enjoyed most in the last 12 months. So let me know if you agree with my assessment. Let me know if you disagree with my assessment. What shoes would be on your list? What shoes have you enjoyed most in the last 12 months. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to mash the like button. Please subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.